it's important that we understand and examine and probe carefully how our belief systems are formed why because we come from different cultures i come from the middle belt for instance there are many of us who come from the west the east the south some outside of this country many following around the world and historically speaking we've gone through a lot of evolution culturally speaking and so many people have imbibed all kinds of mindsets and all kinds of thinking this is the reason why the kingdom itself has its culture are we together now I did tell us, I think it was the, our first service here, that you know you are transformed when it's difficult to trace you to an ethnic territory. I shouldn't look at you and just say you are a northerner. No, the, the extent of your transformation, you should be so godlike, it should be difficult to associate you with a physical territory. That is proof that you are truly transformed. So walk with me. Is God helping us? Number one. The first way mindsets are formed is culture. 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 Never downplay the effect of culture on your mind and on your thinking. Now, there are many healthy aspects of culture. Many, many healthy aspects of culture. However, however, there are destructive aspects of culture many of us here i believe that we have cultural ties that if we have our way we will run away from almost every this is africa and there is almost no tribe that does not have something about their culture that is anti-christ anti-god anti-kingdom are we together now remember we're believers culture is wonderful there are healthy aspects of culture that inculcate morals like respect for elders etc but there are many demonic and destructive dimensions of culture and you see when you come into the faith life you have a choice either to subscribe to the ways of the kingdom or to incorporate dangerous and destructive aspects of culture that impede the operation of the holy ghost in our lives are you blessed culture It is amazing the variety of evil that many cultures many cultures promote all kinds of things and sincerely the promoters of these things don't have to be evil people they are people who are being faithful stewards of something that was committed to them also hallelujah number two the second way mindsets are formed past experiences good or bad your past experience can have a very negative effect on your life ask nathaniel when jesus sent for him and nathaniel heard about jesus that nazarene who was doing great things here's what nathaniel said can anything good come out of nazareth he was not speaking out of ignorance there was a track record that nazarenes did not amount to much but this one was different hallelujah just like you are different i'm walking in power walking in miracles i live a life of favor because i know who i am so he said can anything good come out of nazareth and then when he came and met jesus jesus surprised him he says while you were under the tree i saw you and said wow who is this he said just because i told you this you're now amazed you will see greater things than this you will see the heavens open and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man our past can be dangerous some of us come from families where nothing was ever gotten with ease so the moment we teach that there is a possibility for ease in the kingdom that reality has not been captured in your mind you can receive every other prophetic word but that because your experience fights that prophetic word are we together africa for instance this is our beloved continent this is our beloved nation but did you know that there is a spirit in this nation and in africa that fights early achievement the moment you do anything early people say something is wrong it's true 
when you read about the patriarchs our fathers of faith in modern history some of them began to shake the world as teenagers joash in the bible was king at age eight josiah was king at age nine it was as a teenager that david brought goliath down there is a spirit that celebrates lateness there is a spirit that celebrates a a snail-like advancement in our territory and we have received it as a heritage at 33 years jesus had turned the world upside down 